Denial-of-service attacks and distributed denial-of-service attacks have several different concepts at work. Let's take a look at some of these terms. The first is denial-of-service, and this is often abbreviated just as you see it now, a capital D, a lowercase o, and a capital S. Typically, it means an attack from a single machine. Now, this single machine can still target any service or system on a computer. So I could use my single computer and make so many requests to your web server or to your file sharing service that it overwhelms your computer. It's unable to respond. More frequently, however, single system denial service attacks attempt to use vulnerabilities of your computer in regards to its TCP stack. In other words, the part of your computer that accepts or receives incoming connections and overwhelms it to the point where you can't answer legitimate requests. A distributed denial of service attack takes this to the next level. With a distributed denial of service attack, we have multiple computers. In fact, often from two or four thousand or more that are all pounding one single system with so many requests or so many demands that either we overwhelm the bandwidth or simply the computer can't respond to legitimate requests. Now, the infrastructure with distributed denial of service attacks is a little bit more complex. Typically, it involves multiple zombie machines. Now, these zombie machines are legitimate computers, typically located on cable or DSL networks, individuals' machines at home that are connected through a very high-speed connection to the Internet. Or we also see very often computer labs at universities and colleges that are zombies. Now, a zombie is simply a computer that has been infected with some kind of Trojan horse software that allows that computer to be remotely controlled by the attacker. The attacker typically uses the IRC infrastructure or the Internet Relay Chat a precursor or ancestor to today's modern instant messaging services, either from AOL or Microsoft. So the attacker then is able to control these systems using the IRC protocol, and then it will gather these thousands of machines that this attacker has taken control of to target typically highly public websites. Now you've heard of CNN and Fox News and the Recording Industry Association of America, the RIAA, all having been targeted by these types of attacks for perceived injustices they have done or simply because the person wanted to. Some additional terms. Master. The master is the hacker's computer. It is the one issuing commands to all of these zombies. Now, the master computer typically talks to agents. In other words, the service or the program that is running on the zombie machines that allows the attacker to take control is called an agent. And then the victim we typically call the target. So again, to build a scenario, the master sends signals to all the thousands of agents and has them send many massive amounts of packets and traffic requests to the target, which in this case is the victim.